Okay, hi everybody. So what I want to do here is just really quickly walk through an, equ an equation here uh, or an example of a question that's in a log equation where the bases are different and what do you do when that sort of thing happens. So let's just pull out a, let's just kind of throw one down here. Let's say you've got the log base 5 of x uh, minus the log base, let's say 8 of x is equal to 3. Okay, whatever. We just, I just want a couple of logarithms here that are different. So what I would do here, now okay, I'll be quite honest with you, what I would probably do with this is I'd probably graph it. Okay, I'd probably go to my calculator, plug that in and graph it and get a, a decimal approximation. Now, that's not what your teacher wants you to do. What your teacher wants you to do is come up with an algebraic approach to it. So what we're going to do here is we're going we're gonna to use our change of base formula to change these to the same base. Now. Uh, I could change these both to to like log base 10, log base e. Ah, but you know what? Let's let's be a little bit lazier. Let's change both of these things to log base 5, let's say. So I'm not going to do anything with this first one here because it is log base 5, but over here this would become the log base 5 of x divided by the log base 5 of 8. Okay, that's how the change of base formula works. Now, once I've done that, I've got this term that's log base 5 of x. Well, that log base 5 of x is also a factor here, right? It's being divided by the log base 5 of 8, but it's still, it's, a, it's kind of a factor there. So I'm going to multi, uh, sorry, factor that out and make this the log base 5 of x. And this is going to be multiplied by 1 minus 1 over the log base 5 of 8 because that log base 5 of 8 is in the denominator. When I factor that log base 5 of x out, it's still in the denominator and this is going to equal 3. Now, I'm actually fairly close to being able to get an answer here. Now, I'm going to walk through this and I'm going to get to a point here where I would say then at this point here you can use your calculator to figure it out and then we'll keep going and we'll do some more simplifying here. So at this point right now, what I might do is simply isolate the term or the factor that has the x in it by doing a division here. So this becomes 3 divided by 1 minus 1 over the log base 5 of 8. And okay, now that I've got this as the log base 5 of x equal to this, to get x out of this, all I have to do is convert this form of the equation to its exponential form, right? The base of the logarithm is 5, so the base of my uh, power is going to be 5 here. And this is going to get me x. x is going to equal 5 to the 3 over 1 minus 1 over the log base 5 of 8. Now, I could now plug that into my calculator and figure out what that decimal value is going to be. But you know what? Let's do a little bit of work with this. Let's, let's take a look at this and simplify this a little bit. So I'm going to just come over here for a second here and we'll do some, some kind of scratch work over here before I keep going. So I've got 3 over 1 minus 1 over the log base 5 of 8. Okay, well, I want to try to reduce this down as much as I can. So I know that in my denominator, if in order for me to put these two terms together, I have to find a common denominator, and that's going to end up being the log base 5 of 8. So uh, I'm going to take this 1 and make it the log base 5 of 8 divided by the log base 5 of 8, and then minus 1 over the log base 5 of 8. So I've put those, the, these two terms together here. Got the common denominator, this is 1, so it became log base 5 of 8 over the log base 5 of 8, and then combine the numerators. Now that I've got 3 divided by a fraction, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, so this is going to become 3, multiplied by the log base 5 of 8, that's the denominator, over the log base 5 of 8 minus 1. Okay, well that's a little nicer to look at. I mean, it's still not beautiful, but it's, it's a little nicer here. I can do a little bit better though because I've got this minus one here. Uh, what I can do here is I can rewrite that as a logarithm, okay? Because I know some of the properties of logarithms here. I know that, whoops, sorry, this is gonna become the log base five of eight minus, well, I'm using log base five here, so I can rewrite that one as the log base five of five. Okay, I haven't done anything. I've just changed the way that one looks. Now, granted, it does look a little uglier when I write it like this, but the benefit is, 
is I can now make this the log base three times the log base five of eight. This becomes the log base five. Remember that that subtraction between the two logarithms becomes division within a logarithm. This becomes the log base five of eight fifths. Okay. And now, man, I can really clean this up because now this is in the form of the change of base uh, formula for logarithms. So this becomes the uh, three multiplied by the log base eight fifths of eight. Okay. Now, if I really wanted to, I could also move that three up and just make this a single logarithm term. Okay. I could also make this the log base eight fifths of eight cubed. Okay. I could certainly do that, and I know that 8 cubed okay, is going to be 512, so I could rewrite that as the log base 8 fifths of 512. So we could come up to this. We could now come up to here and make this x is going to equal 5 to the power of the log base 8 fifths of 512. And that is a much cleaner looking solution than the one that we've got up here. And there you go.